Hello and welcome to Fatback Station, a world beyond worlds. fellow Fatbackians, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a Final Faction Custom. If you haven't heard of Final Faction, you can find this toy line in your local Dollar Tree stores, so be sure to check them out. Okay, let's get on with today's project. Okay, as you can see here, I have a little variety of this Final Faction Aliens. My wife and sister have been picking them up for me over the last few months every time they go out to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. It's very nice of you. Anyway, I plan on taking these guys and doing different custom races for different worlds for my citizens of Fatback Station to visit and explore. And I have some property out here where I live, so I plan on making some outdoor dioramas to display these guys in. So, really looking forward to that. So, I'm not just working on Fatback and getting burned out, you know. So, it helps keep you fresh if you have a couple different projects going on. But anyway, today I decided I'm going to go with this car and drone. I think they'd make like a cool alien native race. And I mean for a dollar twenty-five, or I should say a dollar fifty, right? Isn't that what they cost now? I mean, you can't beat that, man. I mean, it's actually a nice sculpt. Got some good articulation. Army build with these guys. Have you a cool little race, really affordable. To fight your dudes. Oh yeah. Okay, on today's project, we're going to be using Krylon Fusion all-in-one satin brick for the base coat and for the primer, flat gray Rust-Oleum. All right, so I got the figure out here. It's on a card getting ready to get spray painted. Just a good tip. I'm just going to mainly be focusing on the bottom of the figure and not covering so much that's at the top because you don't want your paint to get stuck to the figure and the cord or whatever, you know, you have it on that you're spraying so it doesn't stick and peel it off. So just a little tip. Also on this, I'm just going to be dusting this where I'm not taking taking it apart as you can see. So I'm just going to go over it real fast with a dust coat for a primer. Okay, just a little bit like you can see. That's it, man. I'll let that dry, and then I'll flip it over and do it again on the top. All right, guys, I flipped him over and also the cord because you don't want to be picking up any of that trash. I also meant to mention, too, before I started spraying him, uh, make sure you wash your stuff before you paint it because uh, you don't know if there could be any mold release agent left over or just the oils from your fingers and stuff from touching it and all that stuff okay so always make sure you clean whatever you're painting first okay now we're going to do the same thing again we're going to dust the top of him with the gray it's just a quick dust so you know because we don't want to be filling in in between the joints and stuff with paint and then you get trash and all that you don't want that okay so we're just going to go here again And dust him again with this gray. Boom, yow. That's it, baby. Let that dry. 
then we'll do the base coat. So I just finished getting the figure base coated, as you can see, and I did the same thing I just showed you with the gray. I just kept spraying dust coats on him until I got a nice even coat. And as you can see, there's no trash or any paint build up in the joints, all good. And now I've decided I'm gonna take this apple barrel territorial beige and try to brush this over him. Now I'm not going to be doing a, a light dry brushing, it's going to be a heavy dry brushing. So I'm going to get my paint ready here, get him over here to the side, get my towel out, oh yeah, oh yeah. Put me a little bit of paint on here, okay. And I'm gonna put my brush in here, but like I said, I'm gonna leave a good bit still on it. I'm only gonna brush so much of the excess off, and then I'm going to apply it to the figure. Now, when I start dry brushing him, I'm gonna be doing it real lightly. You don't wanna have your brush pressed up against your piece real heavy, because you'll get big brush streaks, and you don't want that. And also, I'm gonna be doing it in upward Okay, from the bottom to the top instead of the top to the bottom. Because what this does is it pulls out more of the outer detail and leaves the inner detail the base coat, as you can see. So we're just going to go on and take our time. And like I said, just lightly brush him. You don't need to be heavy at all. The, the paint's going to do the trick for you. Okay. So as you can see, Boom, yeah. I mean, just that alone right there is pulled a lot out. Look at that detail it's pulled out. That's just two coats of paint, man. And look at the effect you can get, okay? So now, we're going to let him dry for a few minutes. And we're going to come back and do a wash on this guy. See you in a minute. Now, we're going to put a wash on this bad boy. So my plan is we're going to put a wash on him, and then we're going to dry brush him again and go from there. And if you've watched my previous videos, I'm going to be using the nutmeg wash like I did on the crates and the Rodian crew member I did. Nutmeg from Apple Barrel. Just going to shake that up. Now, like I showed you before, I'm just going to put a little bit in this bowl. Okay. And a little bit of water to the side. And the reason I do this is if there's too much water, I can pour a little bit of it out before I mix it with the paint. Okay. That's why I do that. So we get that all mixed up. Get the paint mixture watered down into a wash. Okay, I think that'll work good. All right. So, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That looks good right there. We're going to take that. It's not too thick. And we're just going to put a light coat on this guy. Just make sure to get a nice even coat all over the figure. And then we're going to let that dry and come back to it. And then we'll do the dry brush. So just make sure you get the whole figure covered. As you can see after I set him down, I went back and hit his feet in a couple more spots just to make sure. And then we're just going to let him dry. And then we'll come back and start the dry brushing. Alright, so now the wash is dried. As you can see. 
And we're going to do another dry brush over him. But this time, we're going to use Deco Art Americana Buttermilk. And I'm going to do a heavy coat of dry brushing on him. Again, we're going to do it with upstrokes from the bottom to the top. And as you can see, I'm just trying to pull all that upper detail out. Make sure you get it all over him. Get it coated really well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that territorial beige after I'm done with this and I'm going to go back over parts of him and highlight him and blend this back down as you'll see. First we got to get this done before we move on. Like I said, just make sure you know you take your time and get the whole piece covered. I even do the bottom of the feet as you can see. All right, make sure got it all the way I want. Okay, looks about right. So, all right. So as you can see, that buttermilk really pulled all that upper detail, that outer detail. I mean, out really cool. I think, huh? So, like I said, now I'll take that territorial beige again. And we'll dry brush that on him to blend it. Just gonna highlight him here and there. And just hit a little bit on the edges, you know, and until you get what you want. You're just highlighting it and blending it all down so you can see I'm not hitting the whole thing I'm just hitting it here and there and again you see I'm mainly using upward brush strokes and there you have it Now I'll just paint his eyes red and we'll call it done. Alright, so I have decided I'm going to go in and paint the eyes red. And call it done for now. Okay, his eyes are painted red. I'm going to say he's done. He's finished. Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm really happy how this guy came out. The only thing I have to decide now is whether I want to have this race in space with spaceships and guns or as like a tribal community on the planet that lives in stick huts with loincloths and pelts and spears, you know what I'm saying? So, But after I figure that out, I'll let you guys know and I will do a second part video to follow up on this one showing all that but anyway i just want to thank all you guys again i really appreciate the support i've just broke a hundred and plus subscribers and that's just really blown me away i i'm just really appalled by it thank you all so much i hope you enjoyed this content and until next time take care of yourselves and each other and remember your imagination is your limitation Thank you for watching and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.